It is 27 minutes to 8 o'clock on this Friday morning. Now, today is World Consumer Rights Day. To talk more about today and what it means for you and me, we're joined by the Gauteng Department of Economic Development's Education and Awareness Director, Millie Fillion. Millie, good morning. Good and morning. thanks for your time this morning. So it is all about the consumer. Um, and let, let's remind uh, people about what their basic consumer rights are, because I'm not sure that many people are aware of what they are entitled to, what they can demand, what should be done for them as consumers. Yeah, I, th I think that's correct. Um, you know, today we celebrate World International Consumer Rights Day. It's a day that's celebrated around the world. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and it's, it's, it's basically reminding consumers that they have rights and then they need to enforce these rights. And I think like because many consumers might not be aware of their rights, mm -hmm. and this is the responsibility of uh, organizations like us, the consumer affairs officers, statutory regulators with consumer protection uh, legislation, that we do empower consumers about their rights. Uh, this is just a day that we commemorate the, those rights, but throughout the year, we have interactions with consumers to empower them on their rights. Are you able to just, <coughs> excuse me, are you able to just give us what, what, what some of these basic rights are? What are the things consumers are entitled to? Yeah, you know, uh, the basic rights such as your right to choice. You know, you've got the right to make a decision. Uh, you, you know, you cannot be forced to buy any particular item. Uh, you can then uh, shop around and get the best price. I think that's very important. Mm -hmm. Your right to confidentiality, not to be contacted by, you know, sales people. The ungodly hours. The ungodly hours. Yes. You know, your right to disclosure of information. Um, you know, full disclosure of information, for example, uh, if you're about to buy a car, you know, the full credit agreement, the costing, what, what sort of cost are involved, mm -hmm. you know, that must be d disclosed to consumers. Uh, again, also your right to redress. I think that's one of the most important rights that consumers have, you know, complain. If you're not happy with the service, uh, you've, your right to quality goods and, and services. And, and if those rights really are infringed upon, please do complain. It's your right to redress. So is this being done in South Africa? Are we seeing that consumers are being treated fairly more and more, or is it actually getting worse? Um, I think consumers, um, th there is a balance to that. Uh, that we do still see a lot of uh, situations where consumers are not being treated fairly. Uh, but also on the other side, because we have, uh, you, know, you know, instituted so many legislation around consumer protection to ensure this fairness, uh, you know, to the financial markets with the new, mm -hmm. newly established FSCA, uh, where the focus is on fairness or, or treatment, fair treatment of, of consumers in the financial sector. Uh, we have different legislation like, you know, uh, the medical schemes environment to ensure that uh, uh, medical scheme consumers are treated fairly. So as you know, we can go on in the different yeah, legis yeah. Uh, you know, legislation that is there to ensure that consumers are treated fairly. Look, we, we do still find that there's still situations where some, uh, some businesses or some suppliers try to get away with it. But uh, we're on top of it because we, we do conduct proactive investigations to ensure there's compliance. Okay, so what are you doing around the country today to uh, make consumers more aware, to equip them to be able to complain, to be able to demand what is due to them as okay. consumers? Um, we um, are part of a body called the Consumer Protection Forum. Mm -hmm. Now, for the first time in, uh, you know, in the country, now the Consumer Protection Forum consists of your provincial consumer affairs officers, the National Consumer Commission, statutory regulators such as the NCR, FSCA, ICASA, NRSA, NRCS, uh, Council for Medical Schemes, uh, where we've embarked on a campaign called uh, Fighting Consumer Exploitation. Uh, and we have, from the 11th uh, you know, of March up to today, have conducted quite a number of uh, compliance uh, uh, inspections throughout in KZN in particularly because that's where we launched the, the campaign um, where we went into looking at all sorts of contraventions, the, the municipality of Etiquini and other stakeholders were part of that where lots of uh, you, you know, compliances where we found businesses not complying, operating without business licenses, uh, we've, we've confiscated uh, expired goods, uh, you know. So it's, 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 it's quite an intense project that we've embarked on. So f today we're also going to have a walkabout uh, led by the HOD of uh, Department of Economic Development uh, on the beachfront, um, Mr. Sibanda, with the, 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 the CPF members, mm. as well as it, it, the Kenyan municipality, um, and 
various government officials. All right, Millie, we're out of time, but I want very quickly for you to tell us where consumers can find you, how do they find you if they have an issue? Uh, our email, we can be contacted consumer um, at gauteng.gov.za. And our telephone line is 011-355-8006. Okay, 8006. Okay, That's we'll correct. That information. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for having yeah, us. Consumers get the message and demand what's due to them. Thank you very much. And that is uh, Milly Falyun. She just uh, updating us on what your rights are as a consumer. And she's from the Education Awareness and Stakeholder Relations at Gauteng Department of Economic Development.